Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we are, oddly enough, talking about iOS 8.1. Yes, iOS 8 was released less than two weeks ago, and we've already got a new beta version of iOS up on Apple's Developer Center. So unfortunately, if you are watching this video and are trying to check your software update and wondering why you can't find iOS 8.1, it's because at the time of recording this video on Monday, September 9th of 2014, iOS 8.1 is currently in beta and is only available to registered developers within Apple's system. So we've talked enough about the minute details of this update. Let's jump right into the changes. The first thing that we're taking a look at in iOS 8.1 beta 1 is a brand new iBucks icon, or at least one that matches Apple's current branding for iOS 8. Prior to this date, on Monday, Apple showed this new iBooks icon everywhere, but it was completely non-existent in iOS 8.0, even the Golden Master through iOS 8.0.2, and many people were just wondering why Apple was showing this new iBooks icon and all of its branding that it put out, yet it was just gone in iOS 8.0. However, that has changed and you can see in iOS 8.1, at least beta 1, we've got that new iBooks icon. Heading over to Notification Center, if we swipe down and then scroll to the bottom of this view, tap on Edit, we can see that when we try to add a widget for a particular app, the icon is now bigger, more blown up, so that you can actually see, without just reading the text, what widget you are enabling for that application. As you can see on stock iOS 8, that was a very small icon, and for many people, it was arguably quite hard to see. In the Photos application, the recently added section was, thank goodness, renamed back to camera roll. This confused so many people, including myself, of where these photos were from if they were on my device or if they were on iCloud, so I'm very glad to see that recently added has been completely obliterated and camera roll is back, hopefully for good. And heading over to the keyboard section in settings, just general, scroll down to keyboards, you now have an option to completely disable dictation on your keyboard, which is a little microphone if that's just something that you never use. And as for the last change in this update that has been discovered so far at the time of creating this video, if you are in the settings application, if you scroll down to the list of, I believe, all the apps installed on your device, tapping the settings for one, it gives you a more graphical layout for the settings preference panel. Here's a screenshot comparison of iOS 8.1 to iOS 8.1 beta 1. You can see the first one is just textual based and there's not a whole lot going on. Here in iOS 8.1 beta 1, however, you've got some new icons and the whole graphical interface just makes it a lot easier to use, in my opinion. If you enjoyed watching the video, as always, feel free to leave a like down below by clicking that like button. And if you're interested in more content relating on what's really included in an iOS update, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I go in depth on every iOS update or even beta, generally speaking, that Apple pushes out. Thanks again for watching the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.